I'm V. Owen Bush. And I'm Benton C. Bainbridge. We're Glowing Pictures and the creators of the DubSpot Visual Performance Program. Today we'll introduce you to VDMX and start you performing with video. If you haven't already installed VDMX, get it now. It's free to use though, you can't save your own custom presets. Once you've installed and opened VDMX, select the pull down menu Templates, Simple Player. This will open up a preset in VDMX that you can drop clips into and start jamming with. Now download the archive of clips at this link. The first thing we'll do is look at the VDMX output window. Hold down Command and press F. You'll see a pop-up menu with three buttons at the top. If you have a second display hooked up to your Mac, choose the full screen button so that the main output of VDMX shows up on your second display. Otherwise, use the window button on the left to call up a resizable window to look at the video coming out of VDMX. You should see a floating window displaying the color bars with counting numbers in the lower right corner. If not, go to the pull down menus and choose window, bring all to front. Depending on the size of your display screen, you may want to reposition the main output window. Make sure that you can see the controls and how they affect your output while you're interacting with the options. Let's look at the windows of a simple player. Starting at the upper left, you'll see that the media bin that holds all your media. Let's go ahead and drag some clips onto the grid. Drag those clips that we downloaded and you should see four clips populate the grid. Each clip is represented by a thumbnail image in the grid. You trigger each clip by clicking on the thumbnail or pressing the letter in the QWERTY keyboard of that thumbnail. On the left side of the media bin is a list of pages to hold your clips. You can create new pages simply by dropping folders right into this column. So let's click on the first clip in the media bin. Because it's video, the window shows movie controls. A still picture will show the size of the pic, but obviously no playback controls. In the layer one source window, you'll see a playback progress bar with a readout in seconds in the upper right. You can click anywhere in that bar to jump the movie directly to a specific point. The rate bar below controls the speed of the movie anywhere from five times forwards to five times backwards with zero speed in the center. Notice the three thin black vertical lines in the rate slider. These guides allow you to get to exactly negative one, zero, or positive one playback rate in a snap. To the left of the rate slider is an arrow. Click to change the playback from forward to backwards. Below this arrow is a pull down menu that allows you to choose looping behavior. You can loop endlessly forward or ping pong back and forth, play once and hold the last frame, or play once and cut to black at the end. Another way to jump around in clips is with the back forward button, just above the looping menu. The slider and pull down menu together set how far you jump forwards and backwards in the clip each time you click. So if I select frames and then set it to 10 frames, each time I jump forward by 10 frames or backwards by 10 frames. So let's try a trick to make it easy to jump around in the clip by equal leaps in time with the music. If you hold down control while clicking on the back button, you get a contextual submenu that allows you to set a QWERTY key to trigger it. Select detect all from the menu and then hit the minus key. You should see the back button is lit green now. Let's use the same trick to set the forward button to plus. Now let's see it in action. I've set it to jump 10 frames in either direction, minus, 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 plus. And now the effects. As with other VDMX features, the effects can all be manipulated in real time. Below the preview window is a layer one effects window. At the upper left is the load asset pull down menu. Go ahead and click here and choose color effect, color invert. And you'll see the effect loads active and immediately turns your picture negative. Now go back to the load asset menu and select geometry adjustment frame hold manual. Note that the negative effect is gone. The color invert was deleted because we selected frame hold manual with replace enabled. We can change this to add and now when we select utility flip flop quartz this effect is added to the chain after and adding to the frame hold effect. You can animate any parameter within VDMX automatically 
by using LFOs and other internal generators to control your sliders for you so you don't have to run them by hand. Control click on the Y position slider and choose this. Use data source, layers, layer one, normalize time. And now you can see what's happening is that as the movie plays along from beginning to end, it's rolling the vertical hold once with each loop. Just to dress things up, use the H position slider to lose the left-right shift. And then let's map the vertical and horizontal flip to V and H on the QWERTY keyboard using the same technique we've learned. Control click on vertical flip, select detect all, and hit the letter V on your keyboard. Control click on horizontal flip, detect all, and H. So now V is mapped to the vertical flip and H is mapped to the horizontal flip. Now play your favorite beats and jam along. 100, So we hope this tutorial help you get started a little bit with learning the interface with VDMX. We go into VDMX extensively in the visual performance program here at DubSpot. Come back and check out our next tutorial to find a little bit more about syncing VDMX to music in Ableton Live. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.